Hey folks, Ultima 7, who are you? I am of Clan Ironheart, the eleventh son of Valador, they call me Iskander. My Cyclopean people say I am a hero, many of you humans say I am a monster. No doubt the truth is somewhere in between. 189 years ago I slew the seven Gazer princes when they used their magic to steal the eye from the leader of our tribe, but such things are now ancient history are no longer of any consequence. The eye of a cyclops is considered quite a delicacy to some of the less genteel races of Britannia. Twice have foul creatures tried to take mine, and twice have I dined on their hearts. Uh, this is interesting. Those of my tribe are acquired people. They farm the rocky soil, but also made very good tool makers. I was sent to find them a new homeland. My village lies a great many days' journey away. The, the people there desire a place where they can live in peace with their surroundings. I have not found such a place yet, but I will search everywhere until I do. Such a brought me to this dreadful place. I incorrectly surmised that since magic does not work, it would be relatively safe. It is here that I have perplexed by a terrible riddle. A riddle? Standing at the doorway to one room in this place, I saw an enormous image of a, a tetrahedron. As I tried to near it, a wave of amnesia passed over me. Once more I am standing in the doorway. I could remember nothing more. I believe that the words you human use to describe a polyhedron with four faces. This same wave of amnesia struck me every time I tried to approach the tetrahedron. I do not know what sort of foul magic this is. Now that thou hast destroyed the mysterious tetrahedron, I will complete my exploration of this place. I have a feeling that the homeland I seek is very far away, but one never knows where the next clue will... He, he's quite nice, actually. I'm going to talk about them. Yes, I have heard these names before. They are the names of two humans warriors who have been after me for revenge. They say I killed their father, and must admit to thee that this is true. I did kill their father. Their father's name was Kaladeth. He suffered from the mage madness. His attack on me was unprovoked. For some reason he blamed the failure of magic upon my people. His own magics were still quite potent, and I barely survived the encounter. I had killed Kaladeth in self-defense, but I did not want to kill him. I wish there was still... I wish there would still be some magic left in this world, and I mourned his passing as much as anyone. I know that Eco and Amanda have been after me for some time looking for vengeance. I say let them come. They will not stand still f for that. I will not stand still for them when they shall... <laughs> I will not stand still for them, nor shall I run away from them. When they find me, they are welcome to try and take their justice from me. If they win, then it was meant to be. If I do not, I will have no regrets. Wow! What a nice guy! I say as I steal his food. Hope you didn't need that! Seriously, hope you didn't! Because I'm flying away now. Do, 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 do. Right, I need to go 93 north. There should indeed be a very nasty monster in this place, but also a magic item that will further boost the defensive capabilities of my team even more ridiculously. Yes, folks, it is theoretically possible for me to be even more absurdly well defended than I already am. What's this place? It's somewhere I want to land. Ah! Catalyte chunks! This is where the... <laughs> Seriously, I'm sick of you, Guardian. I just hey hey hey. You should do that. Don't try and finish the game, Avatar. Blah blah blah. La 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 la. Seriously, Avatar. Seriously, Guardian. Really? Hello.
This sprightly fairy flutters around you, sprinkling some kind of sparkling dust in your head as he giggles. Um... Hello. Her name is Kiss Me. Don't do it, my lord! Who knows what evil this strange creature might possess? He inspects the sprite more closely. Mayhap I should try it first to make sure it is safe. Oh, YOLO! Hey, I'll kiss her! She doesn't scare me! She doth look rather inviting, doth she not? My liege has asked thee thy name, foul creature. Uh, that is her name. Uh... Uh-oh. If only thou wert a little larger. Oh, yep. Sharp blushes. Oh, cut it out! Away with thee! Thou dost not love me. Thou dost not even know me. Uh oh! <laughs> it's a sour face and wipes his cheek. But ah, this is the stuff was the sloppiest, wettest, most disgusting kiss I have ever felt. Probably the only kiss you ever felt. It is nothing that I know of, but it's pretty. Ambrosia, that it really does exist. Hey. Um. Right. Okay. Creepy muck creeps em. What's that? Looks like a weird kind of snake thing. Well, we're on Ambrosia. Wah! No! Stop it! Regroup! Brutally murder! No, I... I Brutally murder! Thank you. Do you guys have any loot on you? I mean, after all, I did just kill all of you. Aha! Money! Just what I wanted. Cash! Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, their corpse has vanished. I can't loot them all. Oh, well, I should accept mindlessly stealing this chump change. these arrows and all this food I think we might have uh, intercepted some uh, really nefarious group of pirates what sparks thing doing over there locked and unlocked good oh yay Ooh, that's what I was looking for. A magic helmet, which now means that Ceramid has a full suit of magic armor. I mean, we're only, we're only waiting for a few pieces of equipment now. And some more food for... Ooh, ooh a fair bit of gold. I like, I really like. And a few rings. Okay, folks, when we come back, we'll continue exploring Ambrosia. Until then, until then. <laughs>